this is attempt number two at this video because I did film it a, a little while ago and it was 23 minutes long and then I accidentally didn't save it and so I lost the whole thing so now I'm refilming it <laughs> so it's a note it's a video about my notebook and um, I really love this thing it's very similar to what um, Rory uses Rory rants and um, it's just a normal notebook and for me that is quite a revelation because I I do overcomplicate my system quite a lot. I have file effects coming out of my ears, I have one for every major hobby and I have my Midori and I have um, a notebook for my Egyptology ideas on the go and I have a notebook for my novel ideas on the go and so I do have a lot of notebooks. Um, I have file effects for every hobby. I'll just give you a quick list. I have a quick list in my notebook. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Currently with a purpose, and then I have another one that I need to set up. So I have one, one for my Egyptology major research projects, one for my other Egyptology research projects, my book inventory for Egyptology, museum studies notes and archaeology notes, another one for hieroglyphs, Middle Egyptian and Old Egyptian, so Egyptian language, ancient Egyptian, not modern, another one for Tudor history and other areas of history in which I'm interested, one for my um, general hobbies um, that is divided into paper crafting, ideas, techniques and notes and projects, um, needle and wool craft, fountain pens information and my reading section, so a, a list of books I want to read, reviews and that kind of thing. Um, one for um, practicing paper crafting techniques, one for an art journal, one for um, practicing artistic techniques and one for novel writing and creative writing. That's nine and they're all A5 and I have filofaxes coming out of my ears. And then I have another one which um, I eventually want to make a craft inventory. So um, it's quite a revelation to just have a very simple notebook. And I love it. I love it because I can carry it everywhere. I don't have to think too hard about what to put in it and what not to put in it. I can put stuff in it that can go other places. I can put things in it that is supposed to go in another file effects and transfer them later. And I can write with my bad handwriting. I can just do scribbles, I can cross things out. It doesn't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be in sections. It is just a load of miscellaneous notes and I love it. And I can write whatever I like in it. Um, so I will tell you about this. I will try to make it shorter than the video before because that was 23 minutes long and that is way too long. So quickly. It's in a Filofax Flex, and I like the Flex, but there are a few things that I don't like about it. I do like that it holds my notebook, and that it covers it, and it has all these really good pockets, and it protects it, because there's the cover of my notebook has got a bit um, dented and scratched from me leaning things on it, and, and keys rubbing up against it and things. And I like that the Filofax protects it, and I like that it's got a place for my pen. But there are some things I don't like about the Flex, and I'm not going to do this like a proper review, but just a few things. The pen loop is pretty rubbish. I can put, um, I don't have one with me, but I can put the clasp of Lamy Safari or a Lamy All-Star through it, and it holds that really well. But with other notebook, I mean other pens, it's difficult to get the clasp through, and it's near on impossible for me to get the actual pen through the loop. Because when it's fully elasticated like this, I do find it very difficult to put a pen in without having to hold it with one hand and put the pen in with the other hand, which is difficult if you're supposed to be holding the notebook as well. Another thing I don't like about it is that this pocket here, which could be quite good for holding random pieces of paper or important pieces of paper, it isn't well designed for a five size that actually fitted in quite well but when you when you put another piece of paper in there this happens 
it buckles because the, pa the, the pocket is slightly not big enough for A5 paper so it sits like that so it I think the the pocket should be just a few millimetres bigger and it would fit but a way around that and if Filofax could design it like this it would be brilliant is if the um, this could be a wallet pocket you know like is on the um, pocket and mini size Filofaxes and um, the, the wallet pocket on the um, Companion Gilios if it had a pocket just a slit round here so that you can put your hand inside it you could fit a four paper in there so easily and it would be perfect it would be my walking folder it would be brilliant but just for now I put my important pieces of paper just in there like this I just carry it around I can slip them out slip them in really easily now I'm just going to pause this for a second so that I can plug my charger in but I'll be back in a second I'm back. Okay, so I'll tell you about the notebook itself now. It is an Oxford, the Oxford brand, um, signature notebook, and it's A5 size, and the signature brand is really good. Oxford do make a few brands, but I really enjoy this one because the other ones, the spiral bound ones, I don't really like. The um, Office one has a square spine, which I don't like. This has got a more rounded spine. Um, I love this notebook, and they do it in different colours, and they do the feminine versions, which is like pink, champagne, lilac, and then they do the masculine versions, which is like black, blue, grey, maybe a green? I'm not sure. They, they do change the colours, like... Um, for different fashions or for different um, seasons so that's the notebook and it is a really good notebook and I got it from TK Maxx for £2.99 which is a bargain but the price of the notebook itself um, in Staples in the UK is under £7 which for a um, I think it's under seven pounds. It's around that price, um, which for an A5, 192-page bound notebook is really good. When you compare it to um, Moleskine and Look Term and that sort of thing, it's a really good price. But the reason why it's really, really good is because the paper is gorgeous. It is so much better than Moleskine. It is even better than the Look Term. I think it's on a par with Claire Fontaine, and I think it's hard to get Claire Fontaine in the UK. And so, Oxford, I think they call it optic paper. They they um, advertise it as you can write on both sides of the page. And it's like I would do that anyway, even if it was rubbish, rubbish quality paper. I do that, but some people wouldn't write on the other side of the page because of bleed through. If you use very inky pens, then on poor quality paper, it does bleed through. But this is, I think, 90 grams per square metre. And this is excellent paper. There is absolutely no bleed through. And I've only used fountain pens in here. If you can imagine the inkiest pen, this is... The inkiest pen I've experienced out of my collection. It is a wet pen with a very dark wet ink. And there is zero bleed through. Zero bleed through. It is incredible. There is very, very little show through. There is only show through if you look really hard. You might be able to see a tiny bit of the kind of shadow of the paper, of the writing there. It's so excellent. It is amazing, this paper. It's so soft to feel. It is just gorgeous. So I highly recommend it. This is the um, plain notebook, which at first I didn't like because I am used to lined or squared or dot grid paper, which helps me with my handwriting and it keeps me obviously writing straight across the page instead of diagonally um, and it keeps my writing smaller than um, 
than it can do on plain paper but at first I didn't like it but now I really do actually because it gives me the freedom to write however I like I can write um, big I can write small I can do whatever I like I can you know write in bubble um, clouds and I can write diagonally and I can just do it however I like um, so it is very freeing um, so I will show you through the notebook um, I have a um, Avery pocket tab thing which I don't actually use in here but I might do one day but I have it in here because I lost the backing for it and it, the sticky side was getting um, fluffy so I stuck it in here but I have these um, post-it tabs stuck on it because um, I use these to mark where I've written to do so I can transfer them into my to-do list in my Midori but um, it's, it's a good surface to stick them on um, and then I usually have something like this stuck to this page here but I haven't stuck it in with washi tape so it's falling out but it's just a, a page from my lol cats I can has cheeseburger calendar and it's really cute and I just like being able to open my notebook and see that um, and then I have a kind of first page I have a kind of list of what could go in this notebook because I have a very linear, very left brain, needs categorisation, needs colour coding, needs order and organisation type of brain. Um, I am not flexible in my organisation in my brain, if you know what I mean. I cannot just write things randomly in places. I cannot... Um, just have a notebook for everything I cannot just write what I want wherever remember where it is find it later I need to be able to know where I've written things and also know what to write where and and this might be quite strange to some people but to others you'll understand because if you have a very linear brain like me if you do need to categorize things a lot you need to know where things are supposed to go know where things aren't supposed to go, know how it's organised and know how to categorise it. When I had a file of facts, everything was categorised. Well, I still have my file of facts, but I mean as a planner. In my Midori, I have three inserts, but each one has a specific purpose. I have specific file of facts for specific hobbies. I cannot have that many places and because I do write everything down I do write every single thing <laughs> in my life down because I have a rubbish memory I can't just write it all in one notebook and I cannot write it all in one file of facts I need to be able to spread it but I also need to be able to categorize it because my brain needs the categorization I'm very color coding and I'm very sections and tabs and things that's just how my brain works if it isn't categorized and ordered like that I cannot keep things straight in my brain I need to know where I'm supposed to write things and this isn't a list of where I'm supposed to write things it's just a list of what I'm supposed to write in here because some things I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to write it in my Midori or in here and this is something that Evelyn asked on a comment on my Midori setup video that I made the other day why do I have a list at the start of my journal insert in my Midori um, for what I'm supposed to write in my journal and one of the reasons is because I've not used a journal properly before so I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to write in it compared to what it, whether I'm supposed to write those things in one of my other notebooks but I I do need to know where to write things. That's just the way my brain works. If I write it somewhere else, I won't be able to find it again because I won't have remembered where I've written it. And if I write something in another file of facts and it's supposed to be in a different file of facts, 
Okay, Filofax is a good because you can take the pages out and move them, but particularly in my notebook and in my Midori, you can't take the pages out, so I need to know where I've written things. I need to know that I'm writing only planning things in here and everything else in there. I kind of do need that little list to know where I'm writing things. So this is just a list of what's supposed to be in here. It's obviously a notebook. It's a brain dump. It's for ideas. It's for information. Information is really important because I used to have that in my planner Filofax. But because I'm not using my Filofax as a planner anymore, I need somewhere else to put it that I can access any time I need. And this is the place. I store my important information. Also, project notes. A place to get things off my mind and to work things out. So if I've got something going around in my head and I'm confused about it or I, I'm worried about it or I just need to put things down on paper because that's how I process things I either talk things through like I do on my videos or I write things down writing things down is just the way that I can get stuff off my mind and work things out and draw arrows and, and do spider diagrams and just put things on paper is the way that I process things um, and also random lists I love writing lists and I love writing random lists so I really random lists in my notebooks like animals I want to hug, charities I could give £10,000 to if I won the lottery that sort of thing but also important lists like where I've stored things in my bedroom that I will need access to later but not at the moment and if I don't write a list I will forget where I put them and never be able to find them again so things like that. <laughs> And then I just want to read you something. I got the um, the Moleskine tape cassette um, lined red notebook for Christmas. And I love this quote or this um, kind of thing that was written on the, the inside page. Um, so it's a, it's a cassette themed notebook. It's got a um, picture of a cassette and a cassette deck on the front. It's got an embossed speaker on the back on the inside back cover it's got like um, all the dials and the the um, wires and things to go into a, a proper DJ's tape deck from the 1980s it's really cool so on the front cover it's got this uh, not the front cover the inside front cover it's got play with words rewind memories fast forward projects record ideas pause to think stop and enjoy and that's another good sort of theme for this notebook so okay I've also got this um, piece of paper which is just a list of pages I need to process because I don't take my file of faxes everywhere I go I can write stuff down that is supposed to go in another file of fax and I need to know that I need to process it so I just write it on here and then I can see that I've got stuff to process and put it in those file faxes later but this is a list of things for me to go back and write in the relevant places in one of my other file faxes when um, when I'm able to sort of sit down and go through it. Um, so I write um, random stuff in here and then when the things are finished I just tick it off with a um, tick. I'll do it the right way around. It's, it's hand-eye coordination is not easy <laughs> um, I tick it off with a felt tip pen and so I have really random things in here when I first got this notebook I was just trying to work out how it would fit in with my planner system because I was using my Filofax as my planner and I have my Midori so I was trying to work that out and so there's notes about that um, I have more notes about um, setting up a planner because I was trying to do it um, in time for 2014. Um, I have notes about a video that I was making in December, my Midori um, setup video. Um, and then I have a double page spread of random notes and ideas and it's just instead of um, my normal notes which are quite a few pages long um, or one page or one and a half or two pages long these are just a few lines. They're, they're ideas or they're things to look up on the internet or they're questions or, or just any random things. So they're called randoms. Um, ideas for my mum's Christmas present. Um, 
my which I made and I'll do a video on um, important information about my references for my job which I've just started um, I have eczema in my ears so I've just got a list of when I applied my cream and then I have a, some good advice from the NHS about um, putting cream in my ears on a schedule and then weaning myself off it because I wasn't doing it properly before so I've got this um, die cut piece of paper in here that is stuck in with washi tape with that important information in. Um, more information about um, you know me trying to work out what's the purpose of my Midori versus the purpose of my notebook. Um, a double page spread on craft ideas which um, is just like a brain dump and then I'll transfer it over into my craft file effects. Um, ideas for a video that I wanted to make. Um, 2014 goals and resolutions because I write, wanted to write them down in here before I wrote them into my Midori because I was still um, writing you know the notes and things for them and I didn't want to write them into my Midori while I was still kind of changing my ideas and adding to them. Then I have a list of my fountain pens and their inks because I use I only use fountain pens in this notebook because it has such excellent paper it is a brilliant place where I can use them I don't use them in my filofaxes that much or well, I don't use them on filofax paper because the paper quality isn't good enough for, file, uh, for fountain pens I can use them if I use other paper in my filofax so I either just have um, paper that you can um, tear out of a notebook or you know um, perforated notepads that you just punch but I don't use them in my file faxes very much um, but I do use it in here all the time and so this list um, it was to test the paper quality and it just proves that it's excellent because there's absolutely no bleed through it's like uh, an inventory of what fountain pens and ink I've got and there you go and it's also kind of because what I do is I pick a pen for the day and I use that pen all day and then I pick another pen the next day and I've got about 14 pens inked at once and so it can take me over you know the two week period I can use one pen a day and so I can just consult this list to say hmm what pen should I use today oh I'll use that one because I haven't used it in a while and what I do on my notes is that I um I use a different pen each day and I don't date my notes but if a pen if I have written in a different ink colour it just shows me that I've um, done this page over several days and it kind of helps me date my notes a little bit I don't need to date them properly but I do need to know that I've added that piece of information um, and it also makes my pages colourful which I really like um, and then I have um, more notes about uh, blog posts that I was going to do but I'm not going to do any more and that sort of thing. Um, more random notes, ideas for um, like project notes um, and um, things that I need to put in my Midori. So it's like a, an ongoing list of brain dump but will turn into a to-do list later. And then a list of Facebook groups because I'm a member of a lot of Facebook groups and I forget which ones I'm a member of because I don't go on them all, all the time. And uh, a list of things that are stored behind my wardrobe because it's kind of a storage area and I forget what's back there and then I'll forget that where I've stored something and I will think I've lost it but I need that list in here to... Um, I won't look at it all the time but it will just be something that I can quickly look at when I need to. Um, and then that list of my purposes of my file of faxes. And then I have something that I've only written the title for, but I'm going to add to it as I go. I've signed up for the Oxford English Dictionary Online's Word a Day emails. So I'm going to add the word and its definition on here every day so I can learn those words and I can come back to them. So that's my notebook. I love it. I really do. I love it as much as Rory loves hers. It is something that is just like your best friend because you can carry it everywhere with you. You can 
write any random thing in it and it puts up with it it doesn't question you it doesn't you know it's not like a file of facts where i've got to have things in particular places it can be messy it can be untidy it can be random it can be squiggles and drawings and flowcharts and diagrams and you know i can just dump stuff in here and it's really a relief it's really freedom compared to my over categorized file of faxes and things and i love it i love this thing i love writing in it i love carrying it with me i love flicking through it and just looking at all the colors and the notes and and everything um i just love it so that is part one because i'm going to just do a little video next where i'm just um talking about whether you know where I should put my projects because I do have a few project notes in here but um, I, I'm just going to do that as a part two so thank you for watching this video and watch part two thank you bye